everything I started to wonder Something I can't deny In a moment unfolding Before my very eyes And now Stories being written by new Pouring over me This is more than imagine This is more than ordinary though Didn't realize this could happen Oh, the grace would be enough This is more than imagine This is more than ordinary though Didn't realize this could happen All right, welcome everybody. You may have a seat. Today we come together to celebrate the marriage of Christy and Justin in the presence of friends and family. Today has been intricately planned and replanned and planned again, and eagerly awaited. The time has come. Marriage is the most important commitment that you will make in your lifetime. Your spouse is the family member you get to choose. Justin and Christy, you have been very blessed to have amazing parents who have modeled marriage in wonderful ways. Mark and Karen, will you stand please? Mark and Karen have been married for 34 years. Kim and Kevin, please stand. They have been married for 33 years. Collectively, you have 67 years of support behind you and experience. Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today and the good luck that rain brings 
And Lord, just that we're able to come together for just a beautiful occasion. Be with us today as these two join into marriage. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now Jennifer is going to come up and she's going to share the poem, Art of Marriage. The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. The little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing the things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Love you guys. Together, Justin and Christy will light the unity candle. The unity candle symbolizes the joining of two families. Today is not just the joining of Justin and Christy as individuals, but the joining of the Carr and Brown family. Together they will support and love this marriage with sage advice and guidance. We also take this time to remember those who have gone before us in body, but celebrate with us in spirit. DJ and Linda Messersmith, Doug Beach, Scott Carr, and Valeda Stein. In the Bible, in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 21 through 31, it says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is head of the church. His body of which he is the Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Submit, head of the wife, and then submit again. When I sat with Christy and Justin, and we looked at these verses, Christy and I both gave the same scrunched up face. Justin laughed and said, if anything, it may be the other way around. As Christy's aunt, I'm not going to complain about that. But I want Justin and Christy to have a successful marriage. And the word says, wives, submit to yourselves. Submit yourselves to your husbands. Now, gentlemen, before you get all haughty, I already see some of you smiling and winking at your wives and elbowing. Let's see what God says about you. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word, and to present herself to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body, and it's for this reason a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. Husbands, 
Love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Christ gave his seat in heaven to come to earth and be sacrificed for the church. And Justin, you have a little piece of heaven right here. Love Christy as you love yourself. You are to love your wife and care for her as you do your own body. And it is for this reason husbands love their wives as Christ loved the church. But what does the Bible say about love? More familiar verses are in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Justin is patient. Justin is kind. He does not envy. He does not boast. He is not proud. He does not dishonor others. He is not self-seeking. He does not judge. He is not easily, easily angered. He keeps no records of wrong. Justin does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. He always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. That is a husband that is easy to submit to. But to submit is to love. So Christy is patient. Christy is kind. She does not envy. She does not boast. She is not proud. She does not dishonor others. She is not self-seeking. She's usually not easily angered. She keeps no records of wrong. She delights. She does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Christy always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. At this time, Justin and Christy will share their vows they have written for each other. I, Justin Carr, stand here to, ready to take you, Christy Brown, to be my wife, my best friend, and lifelong partner in marriage. I remember our first date as a night I never wanted to end. I even had to take you to Walmart since nothing was, else was open, just to spend more time with you longer. <laughs> From that point forward, I just knew that me and you were destined for something great. You seriously bring out all the good qualities in me and help me actually live life. Before, I was so tight with my money, but as we stand here today, my bank account is a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> but you are making me live a little as in traveling and make me realize that I work hard in order for us to have a great, enjoyable life together. We at times are exact opposites for, of each other. We have a lot of the same interests, but at the same time, we don't. That works perfectly for us because it helps us get into and understand things outside our comfort zones. Christy, I think you are the most beautiful, smart, and kindest person I ever met. I fell in love with your heart and how you care for other people. That seriously brought me closer to you. It made, <laughs> it made myself understand that this is it. You are seriously the one for me. Christy, although I am not perfect, I do pledge to you to be by your side always through what everything in life throws at us. What you will get from me is always giving my best for our marriage and future family. I love you very much, and I'm pr so proud to call be called your husband. Justin, today I have known you for five years, one month, 15 days, 16 hours, and 40 minutes. But who's counting, right? I remember the day I finally met you in person. I thought, wow, he is really taller than me. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> we had taken our time talking and getting to know each other, and I knew you were someone special. Little did I know just how special you would be to me. 
I knew I liked you then, but I love you and the person you have grown into so much now. Growing up, I would always dream about this day. I think, and of course, Fig married my dad probably more times than we can count on our hands. I dreamed about the flowers, the dress, who would be standing next to me, if all of my grandparents would be here, what kind of family I would gain, and who would be holding my hand at this very moment. While I can say, even leading up to this moment with you, I had no idea what it would be like and what it would feel like, I have to say all of my expectations have been exceeded, except for the rain. I have not only gained a second set of amazing, kind-hearted, supportive second parents, I've gained a brother. Sorry, Jacob, you're stuck with me forever. But most importantly, I've gained a soulmate, lover, and true best friend in you. From this day forward, I promise to love you till my last breath. I promise to stand by you for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I promise to annoy you with demanding a kiss and I love you before bed or have Kaylee wake up with you or wake you up with a million kisses on the weekend. I promise to make you laugh when you are sad, celebrate with you when you are happy, and push you when you feel like you can't go on no more. I promise to be your biggest supporter, your partner, and your very best friend. I know some people might think this is silly, but five years ago, I promised Kinsley that I'd find her a dad, and we'd all be a family, and I found so much more than that. Thank you for loving me and my little babes more than, any, than we could ever ask for. Thank you for everything you've ever done for me, every tear you've wiped away, every tight hug you've given me while I tried to push you away. Thank you for all the memories, laughs, support, and unconditional love you've shown me over the last two and a half years. But most of all, thank you for allowing me into your life, your heart, and thank you for just being you. Boy, did I love us in the beginning. And words can't express how much I love us now. But I cannot wait to love the future us. Simply put, I love you so much, forever and always. Do you, Justin, take Christy in the presence of God, our family and friends as witnesses, to be your wife, your best friend, and your one true love? Do you now make a lifetime commitment to be a considerate, tender, faithful, loving husband to encourage, comfort, and adore Christy in times of prosperity as well as in times of trouble? Do you promise to support Christy in her business adventures? Yeah. <laughs> Do you promise to love Kaylee and Kinsley and future fur babies? And even when we drive you crazy, will you accept and love her family as your own? Of course. And do you pledge to establish a loving home for your own family, to make her and your children the priority in your life, and to nurture your special relationship always? Do you, Christy, take Justin in the presence of God, our family and friends as witnesses, to be your husband, your best friend, and your one true love? Do you now make a lifetime commitment to be a considerate, tender, faithful, loving wife to encourage, comfort, and adore Justin in times of prosperity as well as in times of trouble? Do you promise to take care of Justin even when he is sick with the man flu? <laughs> Do you promise to love and support Justin through football season? Remember, he's a Bengals fan. Will you support him through baseball season, which will be easier because, well, it's the Reds. Yeah. Yeah. And do you promise to blend your family and his family into your life as husband and wife? And do you pledge to establish a loving home for your own family to make him and your children the priority in your life and to nurture your special relationship always? Rings are in the shape of a circle, as a reminder and symbol of the commitment you are making. Today, they are perfect and shiny. As the days turn to months, months to years, 
in years to decades. The outsides of these rings will show nicks and scratches, wear and tear of life. However, the inside will remain shiny and perfect. Both of you will also show the outer wares of life. Maybe a couple extra pounds, a wrinkle, a gray hair or two. But keep God as the center of your marriage to fight for your marriage. Even when you want to be right, make your marriage a priority. And just like these rings, the love you have on the inside will remain pure and beautiful for each other. Lord, we just pray blessings over these rings that are going to be a symbol of their unity in their marriage from this day forward. As they look down on it, please let them remember, God, that you are in the center of their marriage and their love for each other. Justin, place this ring on Christy's finger and repeat after me. Christy, take this ring. Christy, take this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my faithfulness. Of my faithfulness. Commitment. Commitment. And love for you. And love for you. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Christy, place this ring on Justin's finger and repeat after me. Justin, take this ring. Justin, take this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my faithfulness. Of my faithfulness. Commitment. Commitment. And love for you. And love for you. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. By the power vested in me in the great state of Ohio, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Justin, you may kiss your bride. It is an honor to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Carr.